Greetings, you guys. This is going to be a tarot deck review of the anime tarot by Natasha Iglesias. Hopefully, I'm saying that last name right. So, this is a um, anime inspired tarot deck, okay? Um, I was excited to see this deck on Amazon pre order a few months ago. It's almost been pretty much um, i wouldn't say it's been a year quite it's almost been a year since i seen this deck and i had it on my amazon wish list and i seen a preview of some of the deck or yeah some of the deck it was a couple of majors i believe and a couple of court cards so when i seen the imagery i love the colors and everything the pastels the bordery i'm not a fan of borders on tarot decks nor oracle decks but this one i was like i don't mind it because of it was just done and executed very well i have already opened the deck i have not shuffled it yet so i am familiar with some of the cards that are in the deck and i split it and i seen something that is a no-go for me a disappointment for me in some tarot decks especially tarot decks that are beautiful and very very executed with art and detail and then you open it and then you look at one of the elements in a deck and you see that something's lacking it is like it's a nightmare on elm street for me so this box is so like and the box itself is so um detailed and the color schemes is just perfect on this so it's a pretty big sturdy box well, it's, it's, I would say it's like a medium size. It's like my hands are not too big, not too small. So it's a pretty nice size box, okay? Full color box. It's got like this metallic grayish color inside of it. This is the guidebook. I had it upside down. This is the guidebook, and the guidebook is full in color as well. So, um, you know, it has the typical introductions, how to tap into a reading or how to prepare for a reading, how to care for your deck. It also comes with tarot spreads that are also full in color. The um, Celtic cross spread, the one card pool, then it gets into the major arcanas and the rest of the deck is full in color. I'll save that for a second. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open this. So even the cards within itself, the cards are, um, I want to say like, the cards are, they're not a traditional tarot. They're a little smaller than a traditional tarot size, I believe. Yeah. See, this is a traditional tarot size. They're, mm, they're actually the same length. There's just like their edges yeah the corners are cut so they have like a curve around the edges so they are about the same length and width of a traditional tarot card so if you're used to that in your hands for some reason it feels smaller to me um so the back i like that as well it's very detailed it has some moon symbols the sun it's got like it looks like a tarot to me like a card some links and chains so okay it's detailed let's flip it over let's start revealing the card so here is the full so the full card um if you look at the book it tells you what animes inspired the particular cards so let's see um the full okay so it tells you who this character is or how they like formed this character and what animes they appear in okay um, so it gives you the attributes of the fool, the reverse attributes, gives you the meaning of the fool and the reverse meaning of the fool. Very cute cards. So far it has that pastel. I love this ocean and the birds in the back. Here's the magician. The high priestess. The empress. The emperor and I like the black border so it's not completely pastel obviously the hierophant I love this 
the lovers with the red string of fate the school boy school girl kind of reminds me of the um anime movie um kimi no no wa hopefully i'm saying that right <laughs> your name in english is what it means your name kind of reminds me of that the chariot Ooh, look at the horses kind of reminds me of i can't think of the the pegasus the unicorn in sailor moon i can't think of his name off top but it kind of looks like him i don't know if that's what they were going for i should look in the deck it's the strength card let me see if that's who they were going for in the chariot i'm curious demon slayer the roots uh, the prince super lovers no ironically no but it kind of gives me that vibe the strength card the hermit look at her eating pizza chilling listening to her music this is like my sister <laughs> this is my little oh how cute oh my goodness look at the wheel you know how you see things that are so cute and you want to cry like like tears want to like i almost wanted to cry i knew it yeah they're um they have different characters that they're they're influenced by or different parts of the deck itself or the card itself but yeah luna and artemis and diana from sailor moon yeah it's so cute i want to cry justice I don't know why, like, he fine. I don't know why, like, something about him. It's energy, I don't know. The hangman. Cool, like the split of, it's like she's in two different dimensions or something. It's interesting. I don't know if you can see it, how I'm seeing it, but it's like she's in two different dimensions. The death card. Whoa, shit, that's intense. She about to get hit by a car? Or just about to get hit but that's insane that's a little intense for imagery purposes the temperance beautiful that's a pretty card the devil with his little, little voodoo dolls interesting the tower it's a creepy person on the tower i'll tell you that the star it's a pretty card as well kind of looks similar to the temperance their gowns got a little it's a pretty dress we like the pretty dress the moon i don't really understand this okay why y'all choose this to be the moon and what's interesting is like it's kind of giving me like a lunar solar eclipse vibe because you can see the sun in the back it's like a crescent moon it's not a full moon it's interesting i don't know what made them do that that's interesting the sun card very cute card she looks happy or is it he sorry he looks happy judgment hmm. the world now here's the part that i'm going to explain why i'm not so pleased with this deck but there's two suits two minor suits that i will give a pass to because i like that they made it their own and it fits the anime theme now i do not like decks that have ace through the tens where it's just nothing but the suit like nothing but wands nothing but swords or pentacles cups and there's no actual scene going on i don't like that especially not for a deck like this that that's where they missed the mark with this deck because this i would have been completely in love with this deck have it been a deck where there was a scene like the ace of wands or any aces of course obviously you'll you know you can see a hand and a cloud and that that's that that's cool I would even been okay with this being like this, but then the rest of them, no. You you see what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't like this. But the wands were one of the suits that I did like because it kind of reminds me of um Sailor Moon and what's it called? The card uh what's that anime called? Card oh my god, I can't say it. For some reason. But yeah, and I mean the colors and stuff, how they have different color schemes, I guess that's okay. That's is making it its own. But I'm really disappointed in that part of the deck. Cause when I um see a deck that I really like, 
I had one that I recently bought that was like this. It was the erotic tarot or something like that, erotic something. And the imagery is so dope. It has this modern twist to it and um, the fashion in that deck, fashion in, in that sense, like detail, I really appreciate that, especially in modern decks. That's why I like the modern witch tarot so much because there's like elements of fashion and things like that that you can identify with. But it only had that erotic deck I'm speaking of. It only had majors and courts that were detailed. But when you got to the eight or the eights through the tens, it was nothing but the suit, and I was really disappointed. And there was another deck. I think it's called the Gypsy Tarot or something like that. It was a dope imagery. It had like this circus, kind of like a circus type of steampunk vibe to it. But then when you got to the aces through the tens, it was nothing but that. And I was so disappointed. So this is the only thing that I'm like, ugh, this deck would have been like probably my top five. Because I have a lot of manga inspired decks. So this disappointed me to say the least so yeah not pleased with this part of the deck i like the colors the different colors for each card but you know see what i mean like the page you guys could have took your time and literally just did a little scene with you could even have one character with holding a few wands you know what i mean like just disappointed the knight of wands is a female rather than a male character the queen of wands this is cute king of wands the king and queen are kind of androgynous if you notice i don't know if you can catch that like their attire is traditionally feminine and masculine but their faces this can easily be a young boy and this could be a woman like they're but some of the men in anime they have like really keen face facial features Ace of Cups. These, I don't know if this is a singing bowl or is it a teacup. That's kind of cute. But like I said, I'm, I'm just not for, it's this basic. This is like disappointing. You know what I mean? And this would only, if this might not be a beginner friendly deck. I'll get into that in a second. I wouldn't suggest this as a beginner friendly. You would have to go strictly off the guidebook because it doesn't have the scenery. You know, it's for a person that is intuitive, that reads visually this deck may not, as far as this part of the deck, it's, it may not be the best, you know what I mean? Unless you know the tarot meanings. I'm disappointed. Page of Cups, kind of dope, it's cool. I wouldn't expect this type of vibe from a Page of Cups, but it's dope, I like it. A little wine glass at the bottom. The Knight of Cups is also a woman, or a young woman, it's a very, I like this. I really like that a lot. Oh, how cute. Look at that. That is so cute. King of Cups. It's giving me King of Wands, but I'll, you know, <laughs> it's giving King of Wands instead of King of Cups. I'm just saying. Ace of Swords. Yeah, we're just going to skip these because it's just like it irritates me by the minute. You know what I mean? Like, that is a deal breaker for me in a tarot deck. I just, I don't really, I can't with these. Page of Swords. Hmm. Interesting. The Knight of Swords. Okay, one knight that they're giving, um, that's actually a male, that they're giving him his flowers. He's a very mature Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords. I like the um the moth or the butterfly wings behind her. King of Swords. That's a young king. I like the colors. The blue and the red go really well together. The pentacles. Okay, so this is another suit that I was okay with because they have the I Ching coins. And I thought that was really cute. But other than that, like again, like it's so disappointing that we don't get to see a actual scene happening some action something going on so we're just gonna skip this we're almost done page of pentacles with his briefcase knight of pentacles is a woman i love her hair 
it kind of at first it looked like a mullet like a a mullet that's really long and pink i might have to make me a wig like that like it's not it's pent up but i'm gonna i'm gonna do this i'm gonna, I'm gonna probably make me a little wig like that like get a long wig dye it pink or just buy a pink wig and chop it into like a mullet and have it really long in the back like that's dope that's what i thought see i love like decks that have fashion inspired like that that's what i'm saying i'm so disappointed because this deck would have been so perfect if this the ace through the tens would have had their traditional scenes or at least this artist you know interpretation of that i would have really really lived for that but they just effed it up queen of pentacles is really cute her and her baby that's so cute and i'm a tourist so this would you know be my card so i wouldn't mind pulling this and seeing you know when you when you pull a card like oh i know that's me because i'm an air sign woman that's me blah, blah blah you know what i mean so i wouldn't mind seeing this and i like the colors the pinks and the yellows and it goes very well king of pentacles he does not give me king of pentacles he actually gives me more of the king of swords what the king of swords should have been the king of swords is a young person i feel like they should have swapped the page or the knight and the king of swords because this should have been the king of swords and this should have been the knight of swords but who am i to say that who am i so let me i'm gonna shuffle them in anyway so it doesn't matter but yeah this is the king of pentacles so this is the deck so you guys i'm not a fan of that element of the deck like i said i'm, I'm disappointed and um, I really wish that the artist, you know, she could have took more time on that. And who am I to tell an artist what they're supposed to do? But I just really wish, you know, that she would have um, went in more with her suits. And I know that art takes time. It takes a lot of effort. And I'm not sure, you know, what her process was. So who's to say, you know what I mean? But I see this a lot in, in very beautiful decks that it's just like, if this deck would have had that full package, like, this deck off top would have been everything. But I hate to see it. <laughs> I hate to see it. It's like, dang, like, we almost had it. So I'm going to do, like, a sample read. I'm going to pull three cards from this deck. I just want to make sure that it's shuffled in good. The Six of Pentacles wants to come out. Spirit, you're just trying to irritate me, aren't you? Like, you want me to read with you? So <laughs> really trying to irritate me. Okay. <laughs> Seven of Swords. You're trying to irritate me. I feel it in my bones. Like, <laughs> Spirit's like, we're going to challenge you. Justice card at the bottom of the deck. Spirit is funny. Okay, we have two sixes. The Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. I'm clearly getting a message that Spirit is saying to be mindful of. And I got this message in a general reading. I didn't post it because I don't know. I don't want to be messy. Like, I hate getting readings like this sometimes. But if it needs to be made known, it needs to be made known. Be very mindful of someone that is being very generous. Especially someone that is in the past. This person could be trying to approach you in a manner of um being extra sweet extra giving especially in the workplace because the six of pentacles is taurus energy so this could be um business related or second house finances materials seven of swords aquarius energy six of cups scorpio energy so there's some type of hidden motive here definitely when it comes to something i'm sensing opportunist vibes okay from somebody but the justice card at the bottom of the deck this could be someone that you are connected to through a contract, whether it's a spiritual contract, whether it's a job contract, whether it's something legal that you are connected to. There is someone here that I feel like their, their motives and intentions for trying to give or to be generous to you at this time is not genuine, okay? This person could be a Libra, the Justice card. I would be very mindful of anybody from your past trying to reconcile with you at this time, especially if there's something involved um 
this person may be trying to form a contract, a spiritual covenant with you without your knowledge and consent. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that, you guys. Let me know what you guys think of this deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Much love as always. Peace.